Oh, goody. All right, what's going on, everybody? Zombies here again, and today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. So today we have an update on the video I posted the other day using a trick with opening only certain caches before the update in order to kind of get the most out of everything, get the good stuff out of the old system, while still saving those very valuable spotlight caches. And I am happy to say this does work. I just tested it myself. As you can see, there are numbers on the screen here. Credit to Browde for putting these together. Uh, but these are the numbers on the collection track where spotlight caches are located. I just tried this myself. Basically, what you have to do, your game has to not be updated. If you have already updated your game, unfortunately, you cannot take advantage of this. But if your game is not updated, what you do is you open your stored caches except for the numbers on screen here. I also have a link in the description to a tweet where I posted these as well if you don't want to pause the video. Uh, but yeah, these are the numbers you have to avoid as these are where your spotlights will be. So I got some footage here of me opening on mobile. We're going to pull that up. So yeah, it does in fact work. Uh, we're going to speed up the footage here because it actually took a while to open all these boxes. But basically, you're going to be ending up with more tokens and more gold, hopefully, as well as credits uh, by opening these non-spotlight boxes and then leaving those specific numbers. Once you have opened all your boxes aside from those numbers, you are free to update your game. Once you do update, you should see all the boxes that you have remaining are spotlight caches. Now, I opted to open my spotlight caches, or at least four of them, as I was going for the Jean Grey and Null variants, because I think these are the best of the bunch for the month. And I'm not super interested in a lot of the other uh, offerings in the coming weeks, as I have variants for those cards I already like, and I don't need really any of the other cards in them. If I really want one of the new cards, I can just buy it with some of the tokens I got from opening my boxes. Overall, I found this to be very beneficial. I didn't get a ton of gold. I think I got around 600 gold or so, uh, but I did get a good amount of tokens from doing this. I think I got about 6,000 tokens, five or 6,000 tokens. So about a month's worth of tokens, which does line up with having about 40 boxes. So this is pretty good. This essentially gets me enough tokens to buy a new series five card if I want, or two series four cards in the future which will be very helpful for those weeks where, well, maybe you don't have enough spotlight caches to guarantee what you want. You can just use your tokens instead. So yeah, I'm very pleased to report that this does work. Hopefully this is useful for everyone like me who decided to hold off, wait, don't update the game, get the most out of both boxes, get the best of both worlds. And we can see how the opening went here. Uh, my first pull out of the spotlight cache was Kitty Pride, who I already owned. Now, I believe it should give me a variant for her. However, in my regular opening, I opened a Kitty variant, so I actually own, I think, both of the currently available ones. So it seems it gave me a random variant instead. I think that's because I had all the currently available Kitty ones. If I didn't, probably would have given me one for her, uh, to my understanding. And then I had the other three cards being Gene, Null, and Living Tribunal. So I got the spotlight variants for all three of those cards. Here we can see uh, the cards that are going to be coming in batches this month. So this week, Gene, Null, Living Tribunal. Next week is going to be Echo, Iron Lad, and Kang, followed up by Legion, High Evo, and Darkhawk, and closing it out with Mirage, Thanos, and Master Mold. So if you're still waiting on Jeff and you don't feel like using tokens on him, you probably want to be waiting until next month, as I imagine that's when he's going to be coming around. But if you're really looking for Evo or Iron Lad or one of the other specific cards here, that might be the week for you to open the spotlights you've saved. I found this one to be the most appealing to me. Uh, we don't know the variants for the other weeks just yet, uh, but I imagine we'll be seeing them as they uh, as the weekly schedule gets updated. Uh, but yeah, I think it's really important to save your boxes. You could just gamble and go for the one and four every week, but I think that is very unlikely in giving you what you want unless you kind of want everything. And if you do want everything that week, you should probably just be saving your boxes the other week. But yeah, uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope it was helpful and uh, good luck to everyone in your opening. 
I'll be streaming the patch a little bit later on, so feel free to check that out, link in the description. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.